The tongue is a muscular organ situated at the floor of the mouth and composed of mass of muscles enveloped by mucous membrane. The tongue is divided by sulcus terminals into anterior two-thirds called the oral part of the tongue, posterior third called pharyngeal part of the tongue. The muscles of the tongue divided into two groups Number one, intrinsic muscles of the tongue and extrinsic muscles of the tongue. The intrinsic muscles of the tongue are completely enclosed within the mucous membrane with no external attachment, while the extrinsic muscles of the tongue suspending the tongue to the surrounding bones. The functions of the tongue, chewing movements and taste speech and swallowing this is the tongue this is the oral part anterior two-thirds oral part and the posterior part is called pharyngeal part and this is the muscles forming the tongue the mucous membrane of the tongue the anterior two-thirds of the mucous membrane developed differently from its posterior third Therefore, each part has its own nerve supply and separated by sulcus terminalis. The sulcus terminalis, it is a V-shaped sulcus with its apex directed posteriorly. This is the tongue and this is the sulcus terminalis. This is anterior two-thirds and this is posterior third. The apex of sulcus terminal is directed posteriorly. It separates the anterior two-thirds from the posterior thread of the tongue and the apex of the sulcus. There is a blind pit called the foramen cecum of the tongue, which represents the remnants of the opening of the thyroglossal duct. This is the dorsum of the tongue and this is the sulcus terminalis separating anterior two-thirds from the posterior third or oral part of the tongue and pharyngeal part of the tongue. The apex of the sulcus terminal is directed backwards and there is foramen at the apex closed called the foramen cecum of the tongue. Ferinulum of the tongue, it is a fold of mucous membrane extended from the midline of the under surface of the tongue to the floor of the mouth. The tongue is formed by tip, body, and root. Anterior tooth is called the oral part of the tongue again, and the posterior thread is called pharyngeal part of the tongue. This is the under surface of the tongue, and this fold is called frenulum of the tongue. This is the frenulum of the tongue. At the size, there is opening of the submandibular salivary glands. Extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Number one, hyoglossus muscle takes the origin from the greater horn of the hyoid bone and inserted into the sides of the posterior half of the tongue. Its action to draw the tongue downwards or depressor to the tongue. Number two, genioglossus muscle. It is a fan shaped and forming the main bulk of the tongue. It takes the origin from the superior genial tubercle of the mandible and inserted onto the whole length of the under surface of the tongue. Action, it pulls the tongue forwards and deviates it to the opposite side. So if one muscle act alone, but if both muscles act together, they pull the tongue forwards. The third muscle is called styloglossus muscle. Takes origin from the styloid process near at the step of the skull, inserted into the whole length of the side of the tongue. Action of the styloglossus muscle to pull the tongue upward and backward. The fourth muscle. Palatoglossus muscle 
takes the origin from the under surface of the palatine aponeurys of the soft palate and inserted into the sides of the posterior third of the tongue. Action, it pulls the root of the tongue upward. This is the extrinsic muscles of the tongue. This is genioglossus, forming the main substance of the tongue. And this is hyoglossus, takes origin from the hyoid bone. Then styloglossus muscle, styloid breast of the skull. Then from above, from the aponeurys of the soft palate, there is palatoglossus muscle. And transic muscles of the tongue, there are four muscles arranged as follows. Superior and inferior longitudinal fibers. This is superior and inferior longitudinal fibers. These bundles of the form superior and inferior surfaces of the tongue. Then transverse fibers passes from side to side. Then vertical fibers passes between upper and the lower surfaces of the tongue. This is muscle, intrinsic muscles of the tongue. There is superior and inferior longitudinal, transverse fibers, and vertical fibers. The blood supply of the tongue, arterial supply, comes from the lingual artery. It is the main supply, arises from the external carotid artery. The root of the tongue takes additional blood supply from the ascending pharyngeal and the tonsillar arteries. The venous drainage of the tongue, profunda vein or deep vein of the tongue, it is the largest and the principal vein of the tongue. It begins near the tip of the tongue and is seen on the inferior surface of the tongue. Then dorsal lingual veins, Drain the dorsum and the size of the tongue. All these veins united to form the lingual vein or veins, sometimes more than one, and ends in the internal jugular vein. This is uh, arterial supply here, the lingual artery, and this is veins which collected to form the lingual vein, ends in the internal jugular vein. The nerve supply of the tongue, motor supply, all muscles of the tongue are supplied by hypoglossal nerve except palatoglossus muscle, which is supplied by cranial part of the accessory nerve passing through the vagus. Then the sensory supply to the tongue for mucous membrane, anterior two thirds of the tongue takes sensory supply from the lingual branch of the mandibular this is for general sensations pain temperature and touch while corda tympani it is a branch of the facial nerve for the taste sensation of the anterior two thirds of the tongue while the posterior third of the tongue supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve for both general sensation and the taste sensation. This is the nerve supply. All muscles of the tongue are supplied by hypoglossal nerve except the palatoglossus muscle. While the sensory supply anterior two-thirds of the tongue for general sensation supplied by lingual nerve while for taste sensation by corda tympani, which is a branch of the facial nerve, for both posterior third of the tongue supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve as regards general and the taste sensation. The lymphatic drainage of the tongue, anterior two third of the tongue, the lymph vessels pierces the mylohyoid muscle at the floor of the mouth and distributed as the following. Tip of the tongue will drain in the submental lymph nodes, while the margins and the central part drain into submandibular and upper deep cervical lymph nodes, while the posterior third of the tongue drain into jugulodigastric lymph nodes, 
and juggle on hyoid lymph nodes. The jugulodigastric and jugulomohyoid forming the upper and the lower deep cervical lymph nodes. This is lymphatic drainage, tip of the tongue drain in the submental lymph nodes, while the side and central part directed to submandibular lymph nodes, the posterior part directed to the upper and the lower deep cervical lymph nodes.